What is up, guys? Here we night. Today we're gonna be doing a documentary about Jersey Joe Wolcott and his fights in the early and mid 1950s and mid 40s and 40s. This is footage of him fighting Ezra Charles. I'll cut the clip here, you guys can see the full fight and some clips of it. He's a really good boxer. His record is 49 with one draw. He's most famous for going 13 rounds with Marciano and. Marciano said that Jersey Joe Wolko was actually his toughest opponent and the hardest hitter he'd fought up to that point. And even after his 49 fights, he still said Jersey Joe Wolko was the best fighter. He said that Jersey Joe Wolko was the best fighter when he fought him. Okay, and I cut the clip, and this is the um, knockout of Ezard Charles. It's practically the walking uppercut where he breaks the, his footworks with him and then there's a walking uppercut, which knocked out Ezra Charles. This was their third fight in the Wii match. The, their fourth fight. It was a, They had probably the best trilogy in boxing history. If you, I feel like my best history, my um, boxing history, like the best matches is probably Tyson um, Bowen Holyfield. This was the Bowen Holyfield fights from the 50s. Okay, so this is footage of him about getting ready to fight Walkie Marciano. This is our first bout, their second bout, I'll show later, probably the end clip after this. Um, this fight went to 13 rounds, he was knocked out, Jersey Joe Walcott was KO'd in the 13th. This is their, um, this is the left telling them instructions of the bout, and I'll cut the clip to when the knockout happens, so you guys don't have to just, so I don't just show you guys the, um, stare down, you guys can enjoy the, um, knockout. Okay, so this is footage of the 13th round where Jersey Joe was knocked out. So they're fighting right here. Jersey Joe Wolcott's using footwork to keep Marciano at bay. Wolcott's been using his jab and Marciano trying to dig deep by using his head movement. And Marciano's using his jab to get in close. Wolcott backs the Wolcott and then that's the, the hit that does it. It was a... It was a short hook to the temple, I think, that knocked Wolka out. And then, while Wolka was um on the knee, he got hit with a rough hook. So that's probably what knocked him out. So that's footage of that. And then I'll show you guys the footage of when he fought Joe Lewis. All right, guys, this is footage of Jersey Joe Wolka fighting Joe Lewis in 1947. This is before the fight. The um. But for we is commenting everything, he's reading out the notes for the fighters to know the rules. Um, Jersey Joe Wolcott and Joe Lewis on their corner, and Joe Lewis is Jersey Joe Wolcott's being introduced. Jersey Joe Wolcott is in a black robe with the white hood. Then in the uh, white corner. Joe Lewis is in the white corner, I have to wait for it to, uh, so the footage of him in there, there's Joe Willis, he was champion in this fight because he waned for 12 years and this fight was in 1947. Willis did a win, but it was a 15 round decision, not a um, knockout. The weight match was a knockout, so um, I'm not going to show a bunch of footage of this fight. I will show the highlighted moments when we cut to the These are the highlights of Joe Willis versus Jersey Joe Wilcott 1. Right here, Lewis gets in the ropes. Wolka is using his broken footwork to taunt Lewis and confuse him. And then right here, Wolka gets in a good combo and then he knocks Lewis down. This was one of the few times Lewis was down. Lewis won the fight, but Wolka did very good for in the fight. And right here, Wolka is hitting Lewis. Every time Lewis practically gets in close, Wolcott will counter or use a jab to keep him at bay. See? Every time Lewis does the jab, and right there, um, Wolcott's using his broken footwork to practically confuse Lewis and then counter him with a white hand. Wolcott was actually a pretty hard hitter in his prime. He had a bunch, he had a lot of wins by knockout. He floored Marciano three times in their trilogy by and, and there and there goes Lewis. He knocked him with a I think a white hook to the nose of Lewis, knocked Lewis down. You can see a bit of blood coming from Lewis's nose. Wolka goes in for the kill practically. He doesn't knock Lewis out because Lewis is probably one of the best world champions ever, the one of the best fighters. Lewis is using his jab near 
Wall cuts face and midsection. Keep Wall cut at bay. Working pretty well, but Wall cuts getting in some pretty good shots here. It's probably one of my favorite fights from the 40s. Probably the best fight from the 40s, without a doubt. Wall is landing queen, white hands. But Willis, that was a pretty good slip from Willis when Wall cut went with a when Wall cut went with a white hand. And there's Walcott using his broken footwork again. Yeah, Walcott danced pretty well too. And then Walcott caught Lewis with a pretty good white cross. Lewis slips a jab and then hits him in the stomach. Yeah, Walcott's doing pretty good here. He's slipping punches well. He's countering good. I will keep up that Walcott won this fight, even though it was very close. It probably actually should have been a draw, in my opinion. Because the fight was so close, it was almost impossible to tell. If it was a draw, then I'd actually be pretty happy with that. They're both doing really good. But Wolka's getting the advantage. He's slipping most of Lewis's jabs and punches. It's actually pretty good. I'll cut to the Wii match knockout, so you guys don't have. To, so I don't commentate on this for too long. I don't want to. I don't want the video to be too long, but I still don't want it to be like 20 minutes. Okay, so this is footage of Lewis and Wolka's Wii match here. Wolcott's being pounded against the Wolves. I mean, he's sipping some of the good punches that Lewis was throwing. Is that the Wolves? He's countering with his left hook and right hand. He's using his broken footwork. Getting caught by a barrage of Lewis, and then down he goes. This is the KO in the 11th. Wolcott did impressively well in both fights. He was a great fighter, great champion. He could have been a two-time world champion if he um had beat Ezra Charles and then another fighter. Actually, if he lost the title to Marshall and Liam Asherman and won that, he actually could have been a two-time world champion. He had good potential when he was old. Even when he was 37, he won the title. He was the oldest world champion. And it took 40 years for that weapon to be broken by um George Foreman. He won the title at 37, then Foreman won it at 45, beating it by a large majority of eight years. He did do pretty good, though, despite being knocked out. I think... This was probably Lewis's best showcasing when he when Lewis got old. And I'm gonna show you guys more footage of him fighting against Ezra Charles. No still recording, but I'm good. Okay, sorry about that guys, but this is footage of him fighting Ezra Charles the second time around. Won the second time in 1950. This was the, the second time. I think this was in 1950 or 1949. He did good in this fight. Very good, actually. I, like, I'm sorry that I uh, forgot to cut the clip there. So you guys kind of, I kind of actually extended the video, but still, I'm sorry. So this is footage of him fighting Ezra Charles. He's doing really good here. Sipping punch as well. Using his spoken footwork to go against Charles. He lost this fight. He lost the first one too, but he did pretty good. So shout out to um, Legends of Boxing and Color. He's really good at doing this stuff. Because this, this was in 1951. It's pretty cool that he made this in color. So got, got shout out to him. He also had the other one in color. So right now, Walcott's sipping punches that Charles is throwing. Using his broken footwork to do good against Charles, but Charles here like gets in close with the kind of clinch. The left way breaks them up. So yeah, that's this is probably gonna be the um end of the documentary. So peace, guys.